The sky's the limit for the gifted one. Robert Mitchum was an actor, country singer, and even a poet, but we love him most for his charismatic roles of anti-heroes in Western movies and film noir. His explosive character and love for adventure made him a convict more than once. Find out in our video the details about Robert Mitchum's ambiguous life. Those close to Robert may confirm that he never changed his moral code since childhood. He lived for his own pleasure. Young Robert Mitchum was a prankster, a trait he would never outgrow. His adventures started in middle school when he got expelled for a fight. When Robert was 12, he escaped home to live and travel on trains. But two years later, he got arrested for vagrancy. It's no surprise that the clever and nimble Rowdy escaped after six days from the chain gang. And consequently, Robert suffered from a serious wound to his leg for a long time. Mitchum was not the timid type. Moving to the noisy and unruly Hollywood of the 30s, he took to the city like a duck takes to water. He soon found a job as a ghostwriter for the famous astrologer, Carol Ryder. Mitchum also made money from writing poetry and lyrics. Well, it's not hard to imagine that Robert's love affairs were no less eccentric. He married Dorothy Spencer in 1940. Mitchum met her when she was 14 and was dating his brother. But nothing stands in the way of love, so Robert stole her away and proposed within a couple of years. Once he said, maybe love is like luck. You have to go all the way to find out. In the 1940s, Robert Mitchum worked as a machine operator for the Lockheed Aircraft Group. His work turned out to be too stressful and caused a nervous breakdown and temporal blindness. Robert got afraid of his helplessness and it was obvious that it was time to change his life. His rough nature and cheerful character prompted him to pursue a new direction, acting, and he didn't miscount it. The iconic love and hate tattoos on his knuckles in The Night of the Hunter became his cutaway roles of charismatic villains alternated with romantic, heroic appearances. Well, Mitchum did not only play criminals, but he turned out to be an outlaw in real life. You'll hardly believe that it was not the 80s, but police planned a roundup of actress Lily Lid's home. She was famous among celebrities for having great parties, and her guests got caught for smoking pot one night in 1948. You've already guessed that Mitchum was among them. He spent 43 days in a California jail. A magazine even sent a photographer to shoot Robert doing chores there. At the time, Mitchum was probably the most charming outlaw, admired by society. He came out of prison like nothing happened and continued his career. He commented, The only difference between me and my fellow actors is that I've spent more time in jail. The National Board of Review of Motion Pictures rewarded Robert in 1960 for his talent and hard work. The years went by, but his character didn't change a bit. Mitchum's final arrest was in 1953 for speeding 75 miles per hour in a 35 miles per hour zone. Instead of accepting the ticket, he drove away. He later got arrested and fined. We're not surprised. His autobiographical, Baby I Don't Care, perfectly reflects his life's credo. Robert's explosive character didn't thwart his career. Mitchum became an iconic actor of his generation and forever entered the history of Hollywood. Which of his movies is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Click the OSA icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel.